So let's run through an example. Assuming modified ACRS, for a certain capital investment of $750,000 made for a specialized equipment with a useful life of seven years, what is the depreciation write-off in year five? So here's the solution. The goal is to determine what the depreciation write-off will be in year five after making this specified capital investment. Recall that depreciation is the systematic allocation of the cost of a capital cost over its useful lifespan. To determine the depreciation charge for any year within the useful lifespan, we can refer to the formula found on page 115 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook for the Accelerated Cost Recovery System, which states that D sub j is equal to some factor times c, where d sub j is the depreciation in year j, and c is the cost of the piece of equipment. Now remember, the factor can be found by noting the useful lifespan and referencing the modified ACRS table found on page 115 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook. In this problem, we are given a cost, C, of $750,000. We're given a lifespan of seven years. And we're given the year that we want to find the depreciation charge as year five. The useful lifespan is seven years, so referencing the modified ACRS table found on page 115 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, we find that the factor is equal to eight 0.9%. It is important to note that these factors are given as percentages and must be converted to decimal when determining the depreciation. So plugging these values into the equation we find that D sub 5 is equal to 0 0.089 times $750,000 which equals $66,750. So the depreciation write-off in year five is $66,750. There are a few ways that we can mess up on a problem like this. The most common is just failing to recognize what the problem is asking for. In this case, we are asked to determine the depreciation in a single year during the lifespan of the asset. It would be easy to determine the cumulative depreciation up to this year, or the book value at this point, or some other simple mistake. Another mistake that is common is referencing the incorrect column when using the modified ACRS tables. The columns are defined by the lifespan of the asset you are analyzing. In this case, we were analyzing an asset with a seven year recovery period. If we were to reference any other column other than the seven year column, we would significantly throw off our analysis.